Hey guys, first I want to say thank you all for 500 subscribers. In a way of showing my appreciation, I made a quick prototype of the flash slash slow motion effect. I've been working on it for a couple of hours, but I spent most of the time creating the lightning effect. The slow motion effect itself was only a few lines of code. You can get the project yourself by going to the GitHub page down in the description. I will probably update the project in the future, possibly including combat and other features, but for now, I'll just be showing you the simple code that achieved this. If you don't plan on sticking to the rest of the video, leave a like and subscribe since it does motivate me to create more videos. And once again, thank you all. So I remember playing the Speedstar in the DC Universe online game and simply just love the way how you can just run around the entire map with these lightning effects going all around you. That's pretty much where I got the idea from. My scene so far is set up with test dummies with three different sprites to test the slow motion effect. The player has two scripts which are the player movement and the slow motion script. The other script I have in place is the camera, which simply just follows the player around. P.S. If you get any errors opening up the project, it may be because you need to install post-processing. In the player movement script, it also handles the jump, gravity, and being able to activate and deactivate the speed mode. By switching to speed mode, I just had a ball called in speed mode, which can be set to true or false whenever you press F. That's pretty much all that's important in the movement script. I'm pretty sure you can implement your own move script or use the one I have right now to the game. The slow motion script is much easier to understand and write. I made it so once you have in speed mode activated, aka set to true, if you hold down the left mouse button, you will do a time dot fix delta time equal a time scale and then have that equal to a slow motion speed to whatever you want, whether it be 0 0.5, 0 0.6, etc. After that, once you get mouse button up, it will reset the time back to 1, which is the normal time scale. Having just time dot delta time would give it choppy movement and look like it's lagging pretty hard. So be sure to use fixed delta time when lowering the time scale to give it the smoother transition and flow when in speed mode. That's pretty much all for this video. I just wanted to share a quick project I had a while back that I might later expand in the future. If you guys have any suggestions on what you want to see, let me know in the comments below. Once again, thank you all for 500 subscribers and I hope to see you all in the next one. Bye!